morning. Good morning. Groceries, stock up, got a list. Let's go. That was a big shop. So now we'll just uh, take it all on home and have a look to see what we got, pack it all away. I need a glass of water. Very much so. Yeah, it's really humid. It's been raining for days and there's more rain coming and it is just so hot. Here in Australia, um, we've just started summer. So yes, let's go home and get a cold glass of water, get these groceries away and get on with the rest of the day. Agreed. Yes, okay, see you soon. Okay, so we have spread out all the groceries to show you what we've bought. Now, because it is quite a humid and hot day, we are gonna get all of these cold goods straight out into the freezers and fridges. So we'll just talk through quickly what we got here. Let's start with the milk. We always start with the milk. We got six three litre bottles of milk. That's probably about half a week's worth. These are all ice blocks. And the kids will have these when they get home from school. And as school is just about to finish, these will then become morning and afternoon teas for the kids. There are four, four lots of garlic bread to go into the freezer. Normally have that with a savoury mince. Afternoon teas when the kids aren't at school will be yogurt and fruit. So we've got four containers here. These are one kilo tubs of yogurt. This is a roll of Devon. Lots of folks have been asking me what is Devon. This is a luncheon meat. Um, it comes in a, a knob like this and you just open it and slice it. It's great on sandwiches, especially with some pickles. Some people actually fry it. Um, I don't think our kids have ever had fried Devon before. I can remember eating that as a kid. <laughs> it, was, it was okay. Um, but yeah, so that's what Devon is. Now we've got a tub of pasta salad and a tub of coleslaw salad. So these are going to be dinner tonight. We've got some hot chickens over there. So we'll, we'll be having that for dinner tonight. We've got two large blocks of cheese. Now I couldn't get the mild cheddar. There was none on the, um, none on the shelf. So we'll get the Colby cheese instead which is also really nice. Two containers of dip. Some twiggy sticks. So twiggy sticks are like, kind of like salami. Um, kids have that. And we do a savory platter where we'll do dips, crackers, cheese, the twiggy sticks, olives. And speaking of olives, here they are here. So we've got the olives for our savory platters as well. We've got two lots of sliced ham, a couple of juices, dad's, dad's green milk, that's lime flavoured, and a bottle of coke for Eve for helping me do the groceries, which is always a really big job. 
Now also to go out into the freezer, these are some meatballs, there's four packs of meatballs there. Sometimes we make our own meatballs, sometimes just for convenience we buy these ones if they're on special or if we've got a particular meal planned for that and I don't have time to home make the, the meatballs here. We'll get all of the um, the coal things out into the fridge and freezer and then I will come back in and show you the rest of what I bought. Alrighty, well that um, coal stuff is now out in the fridge and freezers. So let's get back to telling you what we bought. So two minute noodles. We bought quite a lot. So there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 12. 12 in a slab there. So... 24 containers of two minute noodles these are great when kids come home late from work or you know somebody's not eating the meal that we've prepared that night sometimes some of the kids might have a container of noodles so I bought four packets of corn cobs these were on special and now they're not on our menu that I wrote up this week but sometimes when something like this comes on special we will adjust the menu to fit these in. So probably tomorrow night we will have corn cobs and one of the marinated meats that I did recently and put into the freezer. Now we've got a bag of carrots, we've got three containers here of kiwi fruit. Kids love to snack on the fruit and it disappears really fast two loaves of white sliced bread and we're having the coleslaw pasta salad tonight for dinner we will have it with this bread so we've got two loaves of that and we will have it with the hot chickens which we call chooks somebody asked me recently what is a chook it's a roast chicken that's what we call it here in Australia. I've got the six packs of wraps. Kids love these for lunches. We've got a bag of green beans, a bag of salad, some mushrooms, two containers of peaches. I actually will be going and doing another big uh, fruit and veg shop and we will buy peaches and apples and things like that by the bucket load but for now these looked really nice so we grabbed them while we were there we've got some Royal Gala apples the Granny Smith apples tomatoes are exceptionally expensive at the moment so we bought just a couple of the little ones little um, like cherry tomatoes little tiny ones here they will just go into salads but yes I think we're going to have to go to the fruit and veg shop to get a big bucket of tomatoes a little bit cheaper and uh, the same with the potatoes we will need to go and get some more potatoes this is only a two kilo bag and pretty much that's all they had on their shelf today toilet paper loads of toilet paper so I shouldn't have to buy that for a little while. There's three, three packs there of those, 18 rolls to a pack. Four bottles of lemonade. Um, these were half price. So I'm actually tempted to go back and get some more at half price. That's um, quite the bargain. And we bought six bottles of cordial. This is the fruit concentrate that you mix with water and the kids drink. And coming into Christmas time, some long life custard. So we bought eight of those as well. One little twin pack of creamed rice. That's mine. <laughs> I'm not sharing that, they're mine. <laughs> now we bought two bags of rice. So they're two kilos each. And quite a lot of pasta here. So there's three bags of the penne pasta, three bags of the spirals, two of the shells, two packets of macaroni, 
and two packets of the bow ties. Now again, you can make a full meal out of the pasta just by adding some chicken or bacon and some different sauces and some cheese. Or sometimes we will just cook it with a little bit of cheese and put it on the side with something else. Now again, as we're coming into Christmas time where we will have lots of people pass for meals, uh, we bought lots of different sauces here. So two garlic aioli, we got three, three mayonnaise. This we haven't tried before. This is actually avocado mayonnaise. So we love avocado and we love mayonnaise. So I'm guessing everyone's going to love that together. So we'll give that a try. We've got three bottles of seafood sauce and three bottles of tartare sauce. Again, it's more the season where you're going to have a little bit of seafood over Christmas time. So that's what that will be used for. This also is new. We haven't tried this before. This is a tangy herb burger sauce. So clearly we're going to have to add burgers now to the menu so that we can try this out and see what it's like. Sounds nice though. Three bottles of tomato sauce. One bottle of barbecue sauce. One bottle of sweet chilli. One bottle of mustard. And you know, even when you write a grocery list out, you can still forget things off the list. And now I bought the mustard so that we could make hot dogs and I forgot to buy Frankfurt's <laughs> to put in the hot dogs. So that means that I'm gonna to have to make another trip back to the shop to get some Frankfurt's. Hmm, <laughs> you can still miss things even when you've got a list, there you go. So some salad dressings, ranch, Italian, and French, and a bottle of sweet chili sauce. There are four bottles of golden syrup. I've got two large tins of tuna, two jars of strawberry jam, Some little baby cucumbers again they might go on our savory platters that we like to make for the kids and one smooth and one crunchy peanut butter now we'll move into snack heaven here because we're moving into school holiday time um, we won't be doing packed lunches we'll just be doing a shared lunch here at home or morning and afternoon teas so we've got some lamington fingers if you live somewhere where they don't have lamingtons, you are seriously missing out. Lamingtons are a vanilla sponge. They're coated in chocolate and coconut. They are fabulous. Then we've got some lemon Madeira cakes, sultana cake, which is like fruit cake. We've got some TV snacks, malt sticks. So I've got two containers of plain scones. Sometimes we make our own scones Sometimes we buy them in the shop. These were marked down, so we grab those. Kids can have them the Savo when they get home from school. We are out of gravy powder. Can't believe it. So I bought three boxes of gravy powder. There are four packets here of corn thins. We just have those with butter and Vegemite normally. There are some other little crackers here. A couple of packs of hundreds and thousands biscuits and some pretzels. We've got fruit sticks, little snack packets and some more snack packets here. Top chip cookies and butter biscuits. Now I bought three more tins of Milo. We seem to be getting down in that again. So the kids are obviously drinking a lot of that. So we may have to pull that up a little bit and, um, <laughs> and slow that down. The tins of Milo have gone up in price, I notice. So I will be waiting for a sale on those again so I can stock up with a lot of tins of Milo. One tin of malted milk. 
dad likes to drink that and these are pink Nesquik makes pink milk and two bags of sugar we haven't bought sugar for a while so there's still a, another um, bag in the pantry but we grabbed a couple now so we don't have to buy that again for a long time okay a couple of household items here and toiletries so there's two tins of insect spray two bottles of mouthwash two boxes of tissues two containers of deodorant some hand soap they were half price these ones were actually cheaper than buying the generic brand we've got some cotton buds a couple of face masks these are for me <laughs> so I can soak in a, a hot bath and put a face mask on that'll be lovely somewhere all the hair ties disappeared so I bought three cards of those one tube of toothpaste some more soap and some razors and that is all we bought today and this is what we now have to put away so what did all these groceries cost us well today I spent $735.35 so this was a big load of groceries today but this will certainly fill up the pantry so thanks for coming shopping with us thanks for watching and god bless god bless <laughs>